This video shows a demonstration of how to set up an access point testbed and how to create and run a simple access point test in the LandForge user interface. For the test setup, we have two RF enclosures. On the left, we have the device in the test RF enclosure that has the access point. And on the right, we have the tester RF enclosure that has the LandForge system. The LandForge system in this particular scenario would be acting like many stations to test the access point and it will also be generating traffic and making measurements. The access point and the LandForge system are connected to each other on the RF side using RF cables. This is a completely cable setup. So this particular access point we're using is a 4x4 MIMO AP. So we have four sets of RF cables from the device in a test chamber uh, that are connected to the tester chamber and these RF cables go through a programmable attenuator. So each spatial stream can be individually controlled through the programmable attenuator. The programmable attenuator itself is connected to the LandForge system using a USB cable and this allows the LandForge UI to control the attenuator as a part of the test. On the LandForge system we also have Ethernet interfaces. The first Ethernet interface is the management interface that allows the tester to control the LandFord system and run various tests. The second interface is the data interface or ETH1 in this particular scenario. This particular interface is used for generating uh, and receiving traffic on the Ethernet interface. So when we run a simple test here, we can create one or more Wi-Fi stations that will connect to the AP wirelessly through the RF cables and the traffic that is generated from the wireless clients will flow through the wireless interface and out of the LAN interface of the AP uh, into the Ethernet interface on the LandForge system. So this creates a complete closed loop test setup where the LandForge system is sourcing the traffic and sync syncing the traffic uh, that is going through the access point in a test. The program alternator itself is used to simulate distance between the AP and the access point and run a very important test like performance over distance, receiver sensitivity, and roaming. So this is a picture of the physical test setup. As I mentioned before, we have one chamber on the left that has the device in the test and the other chamber on the right that has the tester and these two are connected uh, on the ethernet side using ethernet cables and on the wireless slide using RF cables and these cables go through the programmable attenuator unit you can see on the top here. <clears throat> this is a peek inside the device under test chamber. In this particular scenario we're using a Netgear Nighthawk access point which is a 4x4 MIMO AP and we can see the four spatial streams on the AP are connected to, in, to using RF cables to in, in inside the chamber. And then on the tester side we also have the LandForge system which is inside the tester chamber and we are using a 4x4 MIMO radio with four individual RF cables connecting to inside the chamber. Now outside the chamber, the four spatial streams from the tester come into the top ports on the attenuator and the bottom four ports on the attenuator go into the AP and then the attenuator could individually attenuate the signals on each spatial stream between the access point and the tester. Now let us see how we can create a test in the LandFord user interface. I'm going to remote desktop into the LandFord system using its IP address. Once I connect to the system, I type in the username and password. And then this logs me into the LandForge user interface. The first thing I'm doing here is kind of clicking on this icon which launches the LandForge UI. I'm going to connect to the LandForge system. And then I'm going to launch this chamber view uh, application here. The chamber view shows a graphical representation of the resources in the test and will allow the user to create any different type of test scenario they would like. So as we can see, there is the LandForge system LF1 that is available uh, that is inside my tester chamber uh, in my physical setup and it has three radios. The first radio is a 4x4 MIMO radio, the second one is a 4x4 and the third one is a 3x3 MIMO radio. So I'm going to add a new chamber and I'm going to call it the tester chamber. And then I'm going to add this particular LandForge system to that particular chamber. And so that adds and that creates uh, uh, the tester chamber and it puts the LandForge system inside the chamber. 
So the next step is to create a device under test. So I'm going to right click on the canvas and create a new device under test. In this case, the device under test is a Netgear Nighthawk access point. So I'm going to call it a Netgear AP. And if there is an image file for, for the particular access point, you can choose the path and this image is going to show up in the report. I'm also going to provide some important information about the access point, like the firmware version of the AP, model number, this is an R7800 access point, uh, any hardware information, uh, this is a Nighthawk X45 access point, and other information about this particular AP, like the SSID, the SSID is lab AP, um, and if we have the BSSID information, you can enter that information here as well. And most APs have more than one SSID and more than one BSSID. So you can add that information if you have uh, more than one SSID and more than one BSSID here. And then um, we also provide information, more information about uh, the security settings. This AP is using WPA2 and it has a password. I'm going to put in the password here. and uh, also more information about uh, the device under test itself it provides dhcp on its LAN interface so i'm going to check that option and this is an ap device under test so i'm going to check that option and i'm going to apply so once i apply this it creates this netgear ap on the canvas now i'm going to create a new chamber for my device under test i'm going to call it device under test And I'm going to specify the type of chamber and I'm going to add this device in a test to that particular chamber so I'm going to add the Netgear AP and click OK so now I have the tester that has the Landforth system and the device in a test that has the Netgear AP the next step is to connect the tester and the device in a test using RF cables and also specify what program attenuator is used to, uh, between these particular two systems. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the tester chamber, I'm going to modify it, and I'm going to add some connections. So the connections can be uh, selected here, each, this particular chamber has 16 SMA ports. So I can select the specific SMA ports to which these RF cables are connected. So on the tester side, I have the SMA cables connected to RF port zero, RF port one, RF port two, and RF port three. And on the device under test side, I have the cables connected to device under test 0, 1, 2, and 3. And so between these uh, RF ports, I have the attenuators and I can select the, the serial number and the, the specific port on each attenuator. This is a 4 port attenuator with the serial number 1.1.71. Uh, and so I can select the, the first set of RF cables for the first spatial stream. I'm using port 0 on the attenuator. For the second spatial stream, I'm using port 1 and then port 2 and port 3 for the remaining two spatial streams. So once I mention, specify that information here, the test knows that the, we have this attenuator that's being used between the, uh, the tester chamber and the device under test chamber. And we can also specify what type of uh, connections these are. Are these over there or uh, are we using cables? In this case, we're using cables. So I'm going to select that particular option. And so when I say OK, so now it's going to create these RF links between the four, uh, between the device in a test and the tester itself. So we have the tester here and these RF links between the device in a test and the tester. The UI also allows the user to control the attenuation and the distance between the AP and the device in a test uh, graphically in this particular scenario. So for example, uh, when I drag this device in a test away from the AP, it is actually increasing the attenuation. That particular motion is mapped into attenuation steps and increases the attenuation between the AP and the land forces. So when I bring it closer, you can see now the attenuation is about 32 dB. And when I increase the distance you can see that attenuation is being increased and the device under test is taking uh, is being uh, moved far and far away from the land force system so i'm going to uh, for this particular test i'm going to keep the device under test pretty close to the land force system because i'm going to run a very simple uh, test scenario in this particular case 
So the next step is to create a scenario uh, that will create a test here. So the physical test bed setup is all completed now. I'm going to create a simple test scenario. So for my test scenario, I am actually going to select a, a, a station, a profile, uh, it's 11 AC station profile. And I'm going to create one station and I'm going to create this station on the Wi-Fi zero, which is the first radio on the land force system. And I know this AP is on channel 157, so I'm going to select channel 157 and I'm going to map this station to this particular Netgear access point uh, that I'm going to test. So when I map this, as the stations are created, these stations know that they need to be created on channel 157 and they need to go and connect to the, this particular Netgear access point. So the stations will automatically adopt the various properties of the AP, including the security settings, and they will use that those security settings, like those uh, WPA2 passwords and so on, to connect to that access point. And once I create the station and map it to the AP, I can also mention what type of traffic I want to run on this particular station. So there are various different, many different types of traffic profiles that are available. Uh, there are some default traffic profiles but the user can also select and create their own traffic profiles by clicking on the create traffic profile uh, button. So but for this particular test, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to try to run downstream UDP traffic at full line rate. So I'm going to select a UDP downstream traffic, uh, traffic scenario. On the other side, on the upstream, we want to create a server on the ethernet side and I'm going to select an upstream uh, Ethernet server uh, and I'm going to create this on the Ethernet 1 interface on the LAN 4 system. And then I'm going to map it to the LAN side of the AP, AP and that creates a simple scenario. So in this scenario we have one station on the wireless, wireless interface of the LAN 4 system that is going to connect to the Netgear AP and then on the upstream side on the Ethernet side uh, we're going to create a server that is going to map to the ethernet interface and map to the LAN side on the ethernet side of the access point. So that creates the scenario. Now I can uh, apply the scenario and then uh, build the scenario. So I click on the build scenario button that builds the scenario. So once the scenario is built, uh, now we can run this particular scenario and I'm going to select the scenario test and click on run. And when I click on the run button, now the station is uh, associated with the access point and uh, once the station is associated, we can see that there is this green line that shows the that this particular land force system has at least one station that is connected to this particular access point. And we can also see the received signal strength of the station from the access point. And once the station is associated, the traffic stream is started. In this case, we are running UDP downstream traffic. So now we can see that uh, on, the, on the server side, we're, we're transmitting at about one gigabit per second UDP traffic. And this particular traffic is going uh, from the Ethernet side of the LAN forge through the access point and the, from the access point to the Wi-Fi station. The station is receiving about 985 megabits per second, which is doing full 4x4 MIMO 80 megahertz channel bandwidth. This is a simple scenario based test where we're creating one station and running some traffic. Uh, this particular user interface, one this, once this test bed is set up, uh, this particular UI can be used to run several automated tests like data plane tests, Wi-Fi client capacity test, rate versus range test, receiver sensitivity, roaming test and so on. In the next set of videos, we'll go through each one of these tests and show how to run them and show what kind of measurements they make and what kind of reports that we get.